I see a lot of websites with this dynamic text, but the issue is a lot of them are using images or SVG embeds. What if you want to add it using regular text blocks, or if you want to use it on CMS pages where the text dynamically changes based on the page it's on? Well, I have a solution for you. Let's hop into Webflow. I'm going to add a div block. I'm going to call this div block my dynamic container. Inside of it, I'm going to add a text block. I'm going to call it my dynamic text. Then I'm going to add an embed block. Inside of my embed block, I'm going to paste this code. Basically, what it's doing is adding some simple styling to the two elements, and then it's some JavaScript to calculate the container width and the text width and make sure that the text width is exactly the width of the container width. It took me a little while to work with ChatGPT to get the exact solution for this, but I got it and it's working. So let's save it and close and publish it. We can see that it's working perfectly, but don't stop there because we can take this, we can copy it and paste it. I'm gonna put it underneath my image. And if we publish it again, it's gonna work. We don't have to add any more styling, any more scripts, but don't stop there because we can take our hero section and we can add a max container width to it. And if I publish it, the text is still gonna calculate based on that container width and it's not gonna go past it. And as we can see, the two text blocks are fitting perfectly within the container, but don't stop there because we can use this on CMS pages where the text dynamically inputs based on the page. This is my my CMS page. Inside of my embed block, you can see that I'm pulling in a text field, and I have three of them on the page here. And as you can see on the publish site, all three fit perfectly within the container, even though there's different character amounts. But what about different pages where there's different text being pulled in? It still works flawlessly. But what about pages where there's more text? No worries, because it still works. But don't stop there, because if you use GSAP, you can actually add text animations super easily. So if I go back to the publish site, so I added some pretty simple scale animations. When I scroll into view, these scale up and it works perfectly so you can use GSAP with this. And if you've seen my infinite looping carousel video, this is perfectly compatible with it. Hopefully you like this one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.